Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We've got another news video today and I know I am very very late with this one. I've been trying to take my time with these news videos, cover them one by one. The UNSC Falcon Sweep as it's now called and the Arbiter's Quest. But today we do have something I'm very excited about, the Banished Garrison Pack. Now this has really stirred the community, got people very excited for the Banished, Halo Infinite, everything like that. We're gonna talk about the large majority that works in this set, the odd things that I would have changed, but overall this is a very positive review. We're gonna start with the Brute Chieftain. This is definitely what caught my eye at first. That gold armor is exceptional, just so royal in, in design. I think the Banished Red perfectly contrasts against this. It looks like his armor is literally bleeding, like I'm in love with this design. We've had the Chieftain twice already before in Halo Heroes Series 13 and Halo Infinite Blind Bag Series 3, and those were great, but this one, this is definitely my favorite. That gold I, I hope there's a little more detailing, like even some darker browns sort of etched into his armor, especially on the legs, but in general, they really did nail the design for the Chieftain, especially his frilled out helmet looks so outrageous and large. I really hope that this design is perfectly mirrored in Halo Infinite, and this is a perfect place to start. We have six glorious figures in this set, and we're gonna move on to the Jump Pack Brute. Now this is something that people have been requesting a lot for Mega Constructs to make in a Halo Infinite design. We have had it in Halo Wars 2, but now it's great to see that this guy is taken to the skies in Infinite. I mean, there's the one we got in Halo Wars 2, the Radar Wreckage. It's a really great one, and they're very surprising that that design was kind of just a one-off scrapped after that. And it's come back, the jetpack does not look as ridiculous as the Halo Wars 2 design, and I don't think it will be as nice. But the red and dark greys still work great against his sort of very light gray brownish skin tone. It looks like a really awesome figure, and I definitely want to army build this a little bit. I'm gonna be adding this straight to my collection. Again, another really nice banished figure here, the Elite. This mercenary looks really detailed, like his chest looks like it has really nice red sort of painted on running through the silver design. I love his silver arms and legs. This guy, he looks really exceptional. Maybe his neck, his actual head is the only part that you can see his skin showing through, but he looks really great. And so does my boy Victor. Victor the Grunt. It's been a while, my friend, and I've still not got you in my collection, which is ridiculous because your meme started on this channel. Victor the Grunt is ready for glorious combat. He comes with a plasma rifle, spike grenade, and two shock rifles, very, very generous. And we've seen him again in series three of the blind bags and in the Razorback Blitz. They look really great in both, but this one has a total, more like a total red banished color scheme. He actually seems like his helmet only has red on on one side, which could be a really interesting design choice. So I'm excited to add, I mean, I want any Victors in my collection. I still don't have any, but I will be getting some when I get to the USA. Then we're moving on to the UNSC. Now, a few people have commented on the fact that, you know, when we got the Marine Platoon pack, it was all Marines. But when we get a Banished Garrison pack, we have to have two UNSC figures. I know people are disappointed about that. Even so, these UNSC figures do look really sweet. This is some kind of marine. I think he's got a helmet on that shows his face because his face seems to be poking through, but again, the quality is not that great, so I can't tell. It would be really cool if he has a new helmet, or it might just be the standard marine helmet, this time with a green visor. Either way, he's got a Hydra launcher and a missile pod, again, very generous. I don't think this confirms the missile pod in Halo Infinite just yet. I think we'll just have to wait and see because Mega Constructs has a lot of creative freedom with their weapons. The final figure for today is the Spartan Trailblazer, which might be my favorite Spartan that they've released with the infinite line so far. He looks so insane. That green visor is really badass. And then his whole color scheme just shouts like covert ops, only operative, very secret, top secret mission. And he might be holding the commando rifle that we've seen in the Razorback Blitz. But other than that, he's got some great camo running down his legs and arms. I just, I'm in love with the Spartan. I really am. So 
That is it for the garrison pack. We can see that this is directly mirrored off the platoon pack. It looks almost exactly the same. The chieftain looks nice on the front and we can compare it there like they're the same. They look like exact mirrored packs of each other. And what do you guys think of this pack? I, I am very excited for it and the UNSC Marine and Spartan were great choices. I do agree with most of the community that I would have rather had a full six figure pack banished uh, garrison as the name suggests. One more time you can see that even the product packaging, even the display images shows a direct contrast. Like this is definitely meant to be the spiritual successor of of the marine platoon pack so yeah i would have rather six banished figures but then again i respect that when mega constructs is trying to put these on toy shelves they want to advertise the good guys it's easier to sell if it's got the humans and the spartans the marines i think that is more approachable for the mainstream audience for normal kids so do let me know in the comments down below how excited are you for this set which figure are you looking forward to the most how do you rate it out of 10 as always this is another news video with the domain i'm definitely looking Looking forward to that brute chieftain and the trailblazer but honestly every one of these figures is a win keep it with the domain as always for all your halo collecting news